Are you wondering what DNS servers can improve your internet connection on the PlayStation 5? Hey there, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I wanna share with you two of my all time favorite DNS servers and how to put them into the PlayStation 5 to improve your online experience even more. As always, if you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest helpful PlayStation videos just like these. Let's get right into it. So from the home screen of the PlayStation 5, you first wanna go up to this gear icon that's on the top right of your screen, and that's actually the general settings menu of your PlayStation 5. Once you're in the PlayStation 5 general settings menu, you then wanna go down to where it says network. Now, before putting in these new DNS servers in the PlayStation 5, you first wanna do a test internet connection of your default DNS servers that were provided by your ISP or your internet service provider. You do that by going down to the lower right hand of the screen where it says test internet connection. And then while this test is going on, you wanna either get out your phone or your notepad because you're gonna to wanna to jot down some numbers here of your default internet connection test with that default server. And then you're also gonna to wanna to do an internet connection test with each of these new DNS servers to see if those numbers on average are higher as well as the variance between those numbers. Once you get a baseline reading of your internet connection speed, you then wanna go back and actually put in the new DNS servers. And you do that by going up to where it says network settings and then set up internet connection. If you already connected to a network in the past, you'll see that name at the top of the networks list. And you'll also find a group of networks below it where the PlayStation 5 may have found them, but you might not have connected to them in the past. Once you find the network that you do wanna to connect to, you wanna select that name and then you wanna go down to where it says advanced settings. Once you're in the advanced settings menu for your network settings list, you wanna go down to where it says DNS settings and then go into manual. Once you hit manual, you'll see a drop down of two more menus, which is your primary DNS and your secondary DNS. Now, the first DNS that I wanna to talk to you about is actually Google's DNS and it is one of my favorite DNS servers that I use to help improve my internet connection. <laughs> and it's actually put in here already, but I'll redo it again for you guys. So that number is 8.8.8.8. And no, I'm not a broken record. <laughs> and then the second one, as you can see here, is 8.8.4.4. Once you put in both of those DNS servers, the primary and the secondary, you go over to where it says OK, and then it'll automatically try and establish the connection from the PlayStation 5 to your router or through your LAN cable. Once that automatic connection process is finished, you then wanna go back and run a connection test for the new Google DNS servers that you did put in. And you do that by going back up to where it says connection status, and then back down to where it says test internet connection. I'll run this first test for you guys as a walkthrough so that I can show you guys as a comparison how this number compares to the baseline comparison. But you want to run at least two internet connection tests for every DNS server that you do try out. So it looks like this number is coming out a little higher at the first one, but you do want to do at least two internet connection tests like I said for every DNS server that you put in because you want to make sure that not only that number is higher for you overall or on average, but you also want to make sure that the variance between the test numbers are not too widespread because if the numbers are too widespread, you may experience significant ping, lag, or signal drop off altogether because the connection to that server may not be as strong. You also want to make sure that you test more than one DNS server in case you find one that improves your online experience even more than the last one that you tried out. And for that reason, I want to share with you another DNS server that I absolutely love. Try out this new DNS server, go back into the setup internet connection menu, go back to the network that you've been connected to, go back into advanced settings, and then return to the primary and secondary DNS menus, or if it hasn't been set up already, go back into where it says DNS settings, and if it's on automatic on default, just choose manual again, and those two should pop up for you. So the second DNS server I wanna share with you is Cloudflare, and that DNS server primary is 1.1.1.1.1. And the secondary is 1.0.0.1. .0 .0 .1. 
Again, once you put those two DNS servers in, you then wanna go over to where it says okay. And then it'll rerun that automatic internet connection to your access point. And then you wanna go back and run at least two more internet connection tests to determine whether that DNS server that you just put in is in fact faster or slower than your previous DNS servers that you put in. So again, you do that by going up to connection status and then back down to test internet connection. Now I tried all of these just before I filmed this video and I think this one's gonna come out a little lower for me. Oh, it was pretty good. Well, that's right up there with my last one. See, that's why you wanna at least do two t uh, internet connection tests so that you can make sure that the numbers are in fact pretty similar to each other. Um, and see if they're higher or lower than the previous numbers that you jotted down on your notepad or your phone or any note-taking device that you wish to use. Finally, to supplement these internet connection tests, with each DNS server that you put in, you wanna go back into the game that you're using for online multiplayer, and you wanna keep an eye on if the internet connection is smooth, and if you're experiencing significantly less ping and lag than your previous connections that you used. Visually observing and experiencing lower ping and lag and a smoother internet connection is a very good sign that the new DNS server is working for you better than the old one. Let me know down in the comment section below if the Google DNS or the Cloudflare DNS did in fact work for you better than your default DNS set by your ISP, as it definitely did work better for me. If you're looking for another way to improve your online experience even more, I have another trick that I wanna share with you and I published a video with it. I'll leave it up here and down in the description below that shows you exactly what that trick is and how to input it into your PlayStation 5. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can always stay up to date on my latest helpful PlayStation videos just like these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.